Electrical wiring is an electrical installation of cabling and associated devices such as switches, distribution boards, sockets and light fitting in a structure. In other words, electrical distribution through the wires in a perfect manner for economic use of wiring conductors inside a room or building with better load control. Firstly, we will see factor affecting the choice of wiring. 1. Durability Types of wiring selected should conform to standard specifications so that it is durable, without being affected by weather conditions, fumes, etc. 2. Safety The wearing must provide safety against leakage, shock and fire hazards for the operating personnel. 3. Appearance Electrical wearing should give an aesthetic appeal to the interiors. 4. Cost It should not be prohibitively expensive. 5. Accessibility The switches and plug points provided should be easily accessible. There must be provision for further extension of the wiring system if necessary. 6. Maintenance cost The maintenance cost should be a minimum. 7. Mechanical safety The wiring must be protected against any mechanical damage. Electrical wiring basically three types. There are 1. Internal or house wiring 2. Overhead wiring 3. Underground wiring. Internal or house wiring consists of an electrical wiring system that distributes energy to be used in equipment and appliances around the house or indoor. It also involves the proper installation and operation of the electrical outlets, switches, breakers, meter base, and different electrical circuits. Commonly, internal or house wiring is four types 1. Cleat wiring, 2. Casing wearing 3. Baton wearing 4. Conduit wearing Cleat wearing This wearing comprises of PVC insulated wires of ordinary VIR that are braided and compounded. They are held on walls and ceilings using porcelain cleats with gloves, wood or plastic. It is a temporary wearing system, therefore making it unsuitable for domestic premises. Moreover, cleat wearing system is rarely being used these days. Some advantages of cleat wearing It is simple and cheap wearing system. Most suitable for temporary use under construction building or army camping. As the cables and wires of cleat wearing system is in open air, therefore fault in cables can be seen and repaired easily. Cleat wearing system installation is easy and simple. Some disadvantages of cleat wearing 1. Appearances is not so good. 2. Cleat wearing can't be used for permanent use because sag may be occurring after some time of the usage. 3. In this wearing system, the cables are wearing is in open air, therefore oil, steam, humidity, smoke, rain, chemical and acidic effect may damage the cables and wires. 4. It is not lasting wear system because of the weather effect, risk of fire and wear and tear. Casing wearing. It was quite popular in the past but it is considered obsolete these days due to the popularity of the conduit wearing system. The cables used in this electrical wearing were PVC, VIR or any other approved insulated cables. The cables were carried through the wooden casing enclosures where the casing were made of a strip of wood with parallel grooves cut lengthwise for accommodating the cables. Some advantages of casing wearing 1. It is cheap wearing system as compared to conduit wearing system. 2. It is strong and long lasting wearing system. 3. Stay for long time in the field due to strong insulation of capping and casing. 4. Stay safe from oil, steam, smoke and rain. 5. No risk of electric shock due to covered wires and cables in casing and capping. Some disadvantages casing wearing. 1. There is a high risk of fire in casing and capping wearing system. 2. Not suitable in the acidic alkalis and humidity conditions. 
3. Cost of repairing and need more material. 4. Material can be found easily in the contemporary. Batten wearing. This is when a single electrical wear or a group of wares are laid over a wooden batten. The wares are held to the batten using a brush clip and spaced at an interval of 10 cm for horizontal runs and 15 cm for vertical runs. Some advantages of batten wearing. 1. Batten wearing installation is simple and easy. 2. It is cheap as compared to other electrical wearing system. 3. It is paraphrase is good and beautiful. 4. It is strong and long lasting. Some disadvantages of batten wearing. 1. It can be installed in the humidity. Chemical effects open and outdoor areas. 2. There are high risk of fire in batten wearing system. 3. Not safe from external wear and tear and weather. 4. Heavy wares can't be used in batten wearing system. Conduit wearing. There are two additional types of conduit wearing according to pipe installation. 1. Surface conduit wearing and 2. Concealed conduit wearing. Surface conduit wearing. If conduits installed on roof or wall, it's known as surface conduit wearing. In this wearing method, they make holes on the surface of wall on equal distances and conduit is installed then with the help of raw plugs. Concealed conduit wiring. If the conduits are hidden inside the wall slots with the help of plastering, it's called concealed conduit wiring. In other words, the electrical wiring system inside wall, roof or floor with the help of plastic or metallic piping is called concealed conduit wiring. Obviously, it is the most popular, beautiful, stronger and common electrical wiring system nowadays. Some advantages of concealed conduit wearing system. 1. It is safe wearing system. 2. Safe from chemical effects, humidity and other external factors. 3. No risk of shock. 4. It is aesthetically appealing. 5. No risk of wear and tear, fire or damage cable insulation. 6. Renovations can be easily performed as you can replace old wares easily. Some disadvantages of concealed conduit wiring system. 1. Expensive as compared to surface conduit wiring. 2. Changing the location of switches or appliances is difficult. 3. Installation is complex. 4. Hard to find defects in the wiring. 5. Adding additional conduit in future is a tedious task. Overhead wiring. An overhead wiring or overhead power line is a structure used in electric power transmission and distribution to transmit electrical energy along large distances. It consists of one or more conductors suspended by towers or poles. Since most of the insulation is provided by air, overhead power lines are generally the lowest cost method of power transmission for large quantities of electric energy. Underground wearing. Underground wearing is a replacement of overhead wearing providing electrical power or telecommunications with underground cables. This is typically performed for fire prevention and to make the power lines less susceptible to outrages during high wind, thunderstorms or heavy snow or ice storms. An added benefit of undergrounding is the aesthetic quality of the landscape without the power lines. Undergrounding can increase the initial cost of electric power transmission and distribution but may decrease operational costs over the lifetime of the cables. Dear sir, thanks for watching the video. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel Learning Engineering and to get notification, press the bell icon.